Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you how you can use OpenAI intent detection to send users to specific designed flows like a reservation flow or for example appointment booking. In this case we are going to use detent detection without auto slot filling because we are wanting to redirect the user towards a specific flow that we designed for that specific purpose, right? So I already set up a few notes, as you can see, just a question note to capture the user's response. And then I'm going inside of a detect intent, as you can see here, or we can redo this as well. So by going towards integrations, opening eye, and from here we can go and select the intent detect or detect intent. I'm going with the last text input because that will always capture the most recent response from the user. And we can fill in some dummy data. So let's say I want to make an appointment. And I will leave the required parameters blank along with all the optional and I will also leave auto slot filling. Now I just want to capture the user's intent, right? So let's see if OpenAI can do that for us. So in this case, I'm assuming it will return appointment. So appointment booking, as you can see here, right? If I am going to say I want to make a reservation and test it again, it should come back with reservation or something similar, as you can see here, the intent. And this is exactly what we want to capture. So we are going with the intent mapping as you can see, it will lead towards a JSON path data dot intent. And from here, we're going to map that towards a specific custom field that we have. And let's go with OpenAI intent. Let's go and say add. And now it will be added towards the bottom in the JSON path overview. Just to make sure that you see what I mean is here, it will show you the JSON path that we just mapped. Now, if we press save, we can basically redirect the user back towards a certain targeted flow that we set up already inside the chatbot. So in this case, could be a reservation flow, right? And you can do that easily with just a condition block. So we mapped the intent of the user towards this custom field, OpenAI intent. The only thing that we are going to do now is going to map. And this is basically something that you also could do with keywords, but uh, OpenAI is a little bit more flexible when matching the intent of the user, right? So using the detect intent could lead to a better outcome. So let's say uh, the condition will be to check user's intent. And we are going to add a condition group. Inside this condition group, we are going with the intent custom field. There we go. And we'll switch my camera on the other side so you can have a complete overview there we go and if we are going to say is a certain value so for example reservation right we can say okay we're going to save this but we also maybe want to add some more conditions because maybe a user says i want to book a table right so if we are going to take a look at the few different kinds of ways to make a reservation so for a restaurant, it could also be, I want to uh, book a table. If we're going to test the request then, what will the intent then be? And if we take a look, you will see book a table, right? So what we could do here is do some variants as well inside the condition group. So here we could say, if match is any of the following conditions, is reservation or for example, intent uh, contains book that will basically grab all the different kinds of variants of booking right so booking a table book and stuff like that so this for example could then lead towards the reservation flow that you already set up so let's say send to reservation flow and we can just add more condition groups. So we could say, okay, if none matches this condition group, so it's not a reservation or any kind of booking, add another condition group. Let's say if the intent, whoops, intent, for example, contains help, right? The user needs help. 
I need some help with my account issues or stuff like that, then we could say also match any of the conditions and we'll add a few more towards this condition group. So let's say maybe the user is asking for support, right? Uh, can I get some support? Is there uh, anyone from support around, right? It should get back with support. And if we save this, we can now say, okay, if the OpenAI intent contains any of these subjects, we can go towards the, you guessed it, the sent to customer support flow. And you can add as many condition groups as you like to towards this end, but you can see that you can use OpenAI uh, de detect intent action inside of your flow builder to basically capture the user's intent. And from there, you will be able to send the user to dedicated flows based on the condition blocks that you have set up after the OpenAI action, as you can see here, right? So this is another use case on how you can use a detect intention action from OpenAI in order to be able to send the user to dedicated flows inside of your chatbot. And it does not have to be flows as well, right? So if you only want to provide a button or a text message with a button, you can just replace the go to node with a text message plus some button choices. But this is the way that you can use this action as a new use case to send users towards dedicated flows or messages inside of your chatbot.